Is it recording? Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about silver and senior silver, which is basically, my, I love these ranks, you guys, because and I'm going to be really honest with you. I feel like silver was probably my hardest rank because so much of it was in my head. I had these ideas of what network marketing was and that I had to be this salesy person to do it. And I had these ideas that if I was going to do this, then I was going to lose all my friends, like, or I was going to lose millions of dollars. Like, I don't know what, I had all these terrible thoughts around network marketing. None of them were true. And I finally just had to get to a place mentally where I was like, you know what? Like, I can do this. I can, I can do this. I can do this in a way that's true to me. And so if you are new and you're like kind of sort of considering this, I just want you to know that all those negative things that you think they're probably not real. Okay. Um, and I know they definitely weren't for me. So, um, I want to ask y'all a question really quick, because I think this is really important for anybody who's getting started. What gap can this fill for you? See, I already have a typo. That should be a question mark, not an exclamation mark. Welcome to my life. Um, but this is, this is a real thing for me, you guys. I remember when I started, it was very, very simple. I wanted my kids on the products and I wanted my husband on the products, but we could not afford to do that. So a gap that this business filled was that as soon as y'all, as soon as I went silver, I got to add more products to our subscription. And that was really great for me. Like that was a huge win that I could have my kids on these products. Um, and then slowly my next gap that this filled was, well, I really wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And if I could just make a thousand dollars a month, that would take over exactly what I was paying in daycare for a month. So I was like, why don't we just do that? Let's just try this and we'll see if that can fill th that gap. And it did. Um, and then later on, you guys, it filled different gaps for me. My husband is a, or was a coach. He actually just retired from coaching. So that's really fun. Um, but he was a coach for years. And at one point, um, his head coach got removed. He became the head coach of a very, very large program. He was not prepared for that. And we had a newborn and it was super stressful. He got this major depression and it was just a very hard season of life. And I'm just very thankful for a business that moves with us because we ended up having to move states to a new job and all these things, right? So this has just provided so many choices for us, choices that I didn't even know that I was going to need that eventually came up. And I'm just really thankful that this was in our lap whenever they did. Um, so what, what kind of gap can this fill for you? Is it financial? Do you want to date your man more? I know for us, like we did not date. We had kids and we stopped dating. There was no time. There was no money. Um, is it paying off debt? Do you have student loans, all the things, um, or maybe it's community. I, well, I love this group of people that I get to do life with because there's no negativity. There's no Debbie Downerness. Um, that's, I just made up that word. It's, it's a real thing. Um, and so what I love is that I get to be surrounded by positive people who love Jesus, who want to do big things, who value family. And this has become a really, really fun crew for me. And we get to do life together multiple times a year at events and things that we get, we get to hang out at. So um, maybe it's community for you. I know for me, we moved a lot. Uh, my husband was a coach. We moved every two years. And so I was implanted and into a new church and new things all every two years. And this has allowed me some consistency and friendship. I'm like, how do you even meet friends anymore when you're in your 30s? I'm in my 30s. I, I don't know. It, it's got to be online, right? <laughs> Either that or at the park. And I don't know about y'all, but it's like a million degrees. I'm not going to the park right now. So what gap can this fill for you? Um, I just wanted to share some of the bonuses really, really quick before we get started, because I think this is important. I used to be scared to talk about money and I'm not scared to talk about money anymore because I know that money funds ministry. I know that money is one of the top reasons people are stressed. And I know for us, once we were making a little extra money, a lot of stress came off. We were dating more and it was just, life was just more fun and had more choices and we could say yes more to more things. So when you go silver, you make your first $100 bonus. And if you go fast start silver, and that just means you do, you go silver, um, which means helping three friends. That is it. Helping three friends within your very first 30 days. Okay. Super easy. So that's your goal, right? If you're, uh, if you're brand new, you still have time to go fast start silver. If not, you get that hundred dollar bonus plus commissions. And we always have incentives going on. So this is like bare minimum here. Okay. This is like baseline. There's always extras that tack on to this. All right. So what is silver? Silver is three people that you help sign up 
with a welcome pack and that you get six points per order. So you'll have 80 points in your virtual office. If you log into your virtual office, you go to the little box that says points and rank, it'll say 18, congratulations, you went silver. It really is something that you should be congratulating yourself for because for me, y'all, it took me forever to go silver because I was so dang scared. And then once I went silver, I was like, okay, I can actually do this. This is, I'm not, like my body parts are still intact. Like I didn't lose any, like we're good. I'm, it's not scary. And so uh, three, having, hoping three friends is 18 points. My first three were my mom, my best friend, and my best friend's mom. Or sorry, my mom, my sister, and my best friend's mom. Those three. Um, so how do you do it? How do you go silver for the very first time? Um, I would love if you guys that have already gone silver can drop in the chat, like one tip that you did to go silver. And if you are brand new, I want you to look at those tips and I want you to write them down. Um, but here's just some of the things that I did when I went silver five years ago. Oh my gosh, a million years ago. Um, I made my very first post. And if you're brand new, I'll show you here some examples here in just a minute. Um, but some of you guys are like, well, I don't have a story yet. That's okay. You have your upline, your best friend stories, whoever signed you up, you have their story you could go share. Or Option B, you could go share something that you're excited about happening. Share some of the things that maybe are going in your life right now that are struggles and how you're excited to see those change over the next few months, okay? So you have two options. Share your current story if you've been on the products for a minute. Share um, or share a friend's story or share what you want out of this. Um, you can talk in your stories. I know a lot of these girls are way younger than me. And they're, as soon as they, they get their product, they're sharing on their stories. Hey, I just got my pink drink. My friend said it's going to do X, Y, Z. I'm super excited to try it. They taste it. They're like, wow, this is really good. And they're all talking about it on their stories, which I think is super cool. We didn't have stories way back when, when I started, but that's an option. You could share in your stories. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that I love is you could message a few friends and family members. If you want to go silver, you guys, you do not have to have this, but you don't even have to have a business. You could just share with a few, with a few friends close to you. Not scary. You know why? Because when I look back, I'm like, okay, of course I'm going to text my mom. My mom, my mom tries everything under the sun to get healthy. Of course I want her to try this. This thing's actually going to work for her. So yes, I am going to text my mom and I'll show you all some message examples here in just a second. Um, so you can message just a few friends close to you, um, utilizing three-way messages. Anyone ever feel like, okay, I'm nervous to start this business or to even share with somebody because I'm nervous they're going to ask me a question that I don't know the answer to. I was nervous about that. I didn't want to look dumb, but the truth is you don't need to know everything and they don't expect you to know everything. Just use your friend that signed you up. Just say, hey, listen, uh, that's a great question. The question that I don't know the answer to yet. My friend is really good at this and she can help us. One second, put your friend in a message with you. Done, easy, okay? And then the last thing I would suggest you do, um, if you've already made your post and you're still working through these messages and you've um, maybe you're not silver quite yet or you've got lots of people who have um, messaged you and said, I'm interested, I'm interested, I would do an event on Facebook. And what that looks like is you can talk to your sponsor about what the, the flow looks like. But basically you would add them to a group on Facebook and you would get a few of us on this call to go live and share our live testimony. So people that you've been talking to can relate to um, a story or a product post or whatever else is in this launch event. Okay. So that's the system. It's super easy. You guys, silver can be so simple. Do not overcomplicate this. Do not let your fear of what Susie Q from high school is going to think about you if you make a post on Facebook, because I love you enough to tell you that Susie Q's uh, opinion of you does not pay your bills. So in love, I'm just going to tell you it's okay. And if you are consistent enough, which we'll talk about in a minute, Susie Q will probably join you one day <laughs> because I can almost guarantee you all of my friends that I cared about and that maybe weren't super positive at first, they've all started Plexus at one point or another now since I've been doing this for so long. Okay, so let's talk about posting really quick because I think this is really important. You know, what do I, what picture do I even put with this post that my sponsor has helped me write? Well, um, which one do you, are you more attracted to? A, the one with all the script or B, 
super cute Marissa selfie of her pink drink. I can't see the chat, but my guess is that everyone is saying B. And you are correct. It is B. Because Marissa is super cute and people want to see your face. Those graphics above A are old, what I call old school. Okay, that used to be effective. It used to work. You used to be able to go to Pinterest and type in Plexus and all these things will pop up, but it doesn't, it is not effective anymore. People want to see your face. Okay, so go to a window. Okay, turn your camera around and take a picture of yourself and get some good lighting or step outside, head to the beach. I would just, we just drive to Florida, go take pictures. That's, that's what we do. Um, but use a good picture in your post. Okay, the next thing. Um, hopefully y'all can read these okay. I don't know if the little camera thing is in the way, um, but here's some first post ideas, okay? I'm not even gonna talk through these. You can just screenshot them, um, but I love that one example is an example of somebody who just says, here we go. Like they're brand new to this. You don't have to be an expert. Just share as you go. Just like if you were about to walk into a movie theater to see a brand new movie that came out, You'd be like, I'm so excited. Here we go. I'll give you all reviews when I get out. That's exactly what you're doing with your products. I just got my pink drink in. I'm really excited to taste it. Here we go, right? So there's two examples of some first posts that you might make. Okay, what do I say? All right, so let's pretend you have made a first post and you have someone who says, what are you doing? I need the info, okay? Instead of A, freaking out and being like, I don't know what I'm doing, or B, vomiting everything you do know on them, pause and say, hey, I'm sending you a message really quick. And then you're gonna follow this flow. Um, hey, I am so, uh, thank you so much for the support. I'm pumped about it. I've already seen changes in my XYZ. You fill in the blank. What are your health goals? And I'll shoot you some info. Okay, I love that question. What are your health goals? Let me shoot you some info because the truth is people don't really care what, what your story is or what changes you're seeing. They just wanna know, can this help me? And you can't know the answer to that question until you've asked them that question. What are your health goals? And then I love to send that beautiful graphic. Randy Page always updates these for us. And I love her for that because I don't, I seriously, I think every single person on our team uses this graphic every single day. So Randy Page for president. Um, but then I send this, this pretty little symptoms graphic and I let them see what this can help. And then we go from there. Um, and if they start asking questions, you guys, like, well, uh, you know, I'm on XYZ medication or, you know, can it help with this or whatever the thing is, pause, don't freak out, okay? You do not need to be the expert to say, hey, listen, that's a great question. I'm going to loop you in with my friend who's super smart with this stuff and she's going to help us or you can do whatever that says up there. Okay. Some version of that. And we call that a three-way message. Okay. And you're going to use your friend until you feel comfortable. This is not scary. And you have so many people to help you. It's not even funny. So use your friend, let them roll with the conversation and don't ask and say, can I put you in a message with my friend? Just be like, hey, I'm putting you in a message with my friend. She's super good with this stuff, okay? So that's how you do it. This, th is that easy? Does, does anyone else think that that's like super easy? Hey, I can, I can do that. That's simple, okay? Because it is, I promise. All right, reach out messages. Anyone ever received a message? It's like, hey girl, I'm doing this thing, join my team. Don't you wanna lose 40 pounds in a week? It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I used to get those and I, we won't talk about my feelings around them, but let's just say we don't do that here, okay? In fact, I just wanna encourage you to say exactly what's on your mind. If you wanna message your mom and introduce her to Plexus, just like, hey mom, I wanna show you some stuff. I'm really excited about it and it tastes good. I'm on day one, you're gonna do it with me. Like, just say what is on your mind. Do not overcomplicate this. I put some examples up here of something that I might say. Actually, I probably wouldn't tell my mom, do you want to be my accountability partner? I'd probably just be like, hey, mom, give me your credit card information. I'm start. I'm making you an account. You're doing this with me, if I'm being honest. Um, but if you want to be polite to your mother, there's some examples. But don't overcomplicate this, you guys. Keep it simple. Um, okay, so congratulations. You are silver. You just made your first post. 
you talked, you reached out to your mom and she said, sure, here's my info. You created her an account. You had a couple of people comment and say, hey, I struggle with that too. Help me out. You got them in a three-way message. Y'all got them signed up with their VIP account. Done. Easy, right? Now you want to go senior silver, right? We want to double those bonuses. No, it's not quite double. What is that? 150? It's 150 for a regular senior silver bonus. And I think it's 300 for a fast start silver bonus. Somebody correct me if I'm in. I see Katie. Katie nod. If, okay. Um, all right. So now you're like, okay, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll go for that next bonus because why not? You should go for the next bonus. So that one's going to be 50 points in your virtual office, which is roughly nine orders. If you have nine people purchasing welcome packs from you. Uh, okay. I thought it said three level ones. Different. So you just need nine people, you guys, that's it. So you're like, okay, well, how do I do this? Well, first you're going to do everything we just talked about. And then you're going to do it again. You're going to make another post and you're going to make another post. Maybe reach out to a couple more friends, but here's some like, Hey, I actually want a business tips. Okay. So if you are here and you're like, I don't, I don't want to make three or $400, $500 a month, then just stop listening. But if you do, this is for you. So you're going to start learning a little bit. Y'all, we value personal growth here because here's the thing. How long do we go to college for to graduate, to go to get a job? Four years, some 33 years, six years. You go to school for that long and then you step into a job and you're still learning, okay? You step into this network marketing gig and you pay, some of y'all are paying a dollar to start your business. You have to like school yourself a little bit in order to be really good at this. And I think all of us would say personal growth is so important. So you're going to start learning from some YouTube channels. Um, I really personally love Emily Gibson. Uh, Brittany Howard's are really, really great. So if you have somebody that you love to learn from, uh, drop it in the chat and y'all can take notes from the people that uh, they mentioned in the comment in the chat. But Bob Heilig is really, really great. That's a podcast you can plug into. Um, then you can make a list. Y'all, I used to have, I'm kind of nerdy. I, I don't like notebook paper. <laughs> I like these big, massive, oh, look, my child wrote me a note on the back. Um, but I like these big, massive, like art notebooks. And I love to make lists with markers. Judge me, it's fine. But I will sit and you can make a list of 10, 20, 50 people that you know that could be blessed by this, that maybe need some energy, maybe been struggling for a very long time with something that they've been very vocal about. They're on medications that you know they would love to get off of. You know, you know all the things off of that list, that symptoms list, and you know people that struggle with those things. Start making a list. Make a list of people that you would love to do this business with. I remember my friend Callie, we played a high school volleyball together and I reached out to her she was so crunchy and she loved her homemade smoothies and she was like made the chiropractor going to the chiropractor cool before it was even a thing. And I just remember being like, hey, listen, I want a vacation with you. Come, we just come learn what this Plexus stuff is, right? So you could start making lists of people you want to do the business with, you know that this, the products would be a huge gift. Um, share in your stories even more. Share lists of, uh, of things that this helps with right? People genuinely thought when I started this, people thought you could only make like 50 bucks max and that it was only a weight loss gig. That was, they needed some education and it's your job to give them that education because um, they don't know, but they don't know. So you get to start educating them on what this is, what gut health is, um, how this helps with inflammation. And as you're learning from those YouTube videos, you get to start sharing what you're learning with them. Okay. Um, then, uh, oh, info sheets. Okay, so if somebody could do me a huge favor and drop the, all the info sheets like from our Gut Health and Happiness page um, into our June thread, that would be our July thread. It's July now. Into our July thread, that'd be awesome. All these info sheets are so good. Um, I used to just uh, click on one and I'd just start reading and I would just start learning what the products do because y'all, once you learn what our products actually do, you will be obsessed. There's no way you can keep your mouth shut once you realize how powerful these are, okay? And so I'm, I'm gonna keep my product uh, testimony for another time, but I just wanna promise you guys that if you don't have that belief yet in our products, borrow mine because I have not missed them for five years. Um, and so, all right, so share about the business opportunity. You guys, 
whenever you make your first paycheck, some of you guys made your first silver paycheck and it was over $400, okay? So go share what that paid for. Like for me, that's groceries for a couple of weeks. That's, well, now it's probably gas for like a couple of weeks for some of you guys, but it's gas, uh, gas money. It's that pedicure that you usually don't go get because you don't want to dip into like your family's bank account and feel guilty. It's a little bit of fun money. Okay. So go share more about the business and what this is doing and maybe share about the community that you're a part of that. You're like, I didn't even know these girls were cool, but they actually are. Okay. So you can start sharing about community a little bit. Um, I need this to move so I can, there it is. So I can actually see my side. Um, start asking if your teammates want to get their products paid for. This is a big one. Um, I am a huge fan of helping everybody get their products paid for because I believe every single person knows three people that need Plexus. So start asking that question. Maybe you have somebody that's on your team from when you went silver and they message you and say, Hey, I'm starting to see some energy. This is really cool. You could be like, well, that's awesome. You need to go post about that. Take a picture of yourself and tag me. And then guess what's going to happen? They're going to have people commenting saying, hey, I need energy too. Help me. And then they're going to get you in three-way messages like you got your friend, right? So do you see how this is just one big cycle of doing it over and over and over again? It's super simple, y'all. This is a super simple business. And then the last thing I will tell you is plug in the community that we have, the threads, events, and training. Um, just so you know, you are a part of one of the biggest, fastest growing teams in all of Plexus. What we do I, is, is so special. Like, I love what we do. Um, and so you have a community of some really awesome women, like seriously, really awesome. And so plug into those threads, get to know, don't just sit in the background and be like, oh, I'm scared. I don't know these people. Get to know them. Start asking questions in those threads. Um, and you know, it just, it just makes it, the experience so much better when you become part of the team. And we do these trainings on Tuesday nights, every night. Even my husband has it blocked on, on his calendar. He's like, oh, it's Tuesday. I got the kids go. So it will quickly become part of your just like daily routine. So anyway, okay. So do I have any more? Oh, okay. Lastly, consistency. If you, if you guys are here and you're like, okay, I'm, I, I, I will gladly go silver. Let's get my three. I would love to get my products paid for. Y'all, that is great. Like, that is awesome. And if that's all you want, great. But if you want more, consistency creates credibility. Remember when I was talking about Susie Q at the beginning and how she might have some thoughts about you making a post about that pink drink? Okay. Well, what's going to happen is over the next year, if you are still posting, Susie Q will probably end up coming to you and saying, hey, you've been posting about this. For five years now. What's the deal? Bill, I'm tired. I just had my 18th kid and I'm ready. Like it may just be a timing thing for her. So consistency creates credibility. If you do not want to be salesy, do not post two times and then quit. Okay. You want people to trust you and to order for people to trust you, to take care of them. You need to be consistent and show up and show that this is like a real business for you. Like you're excited about it. And when you join me, I'm going to take care of you. Okay. So that's the thing I'm really, really passionate about. Um, next, Amy, where are you? Are you here? Can't see you. Sorry, I'm here. I had to go let my dog out. He was losing his mind. That's okay. Um, okay, y'all. Amy is, I, I picked Amy because her name has been all over everything. And she is, oh, you have twins, don't you? Yes. Okay, I see her super busy in all of her posts. She did, like, we've never even, like, talked before, but I just have, like, watched you from the sidelines. And I just respect you so much. So I would love for her to just kind of share her tips on silver and her thoughts on silver just super fast and if y'all have questions you can throw them in the chat and I will ask her so if you want to just go for it Amy okay yeah so first just a little bit about me because I'm kind of new to all of this and I don't feel like I know many of you um but I am a teacher and a mom of three so I've got a three-year-old girl and my four-month-old twin boys um I was introduced to Plexus through Chandler. 
Um, we've been friends for a really long time. And um, I actually started on products back in 2019. And was I was one of those people that was very inconsistent and was probably Chandler's biggest headache because I was not good <laughs> about taking my products and I stopped. Um, but fast forward, I was pregnant with the boys. I started having some health issues, got back on the products and loved them. And so I didn't really start for the business. I really had no interest in it. Um, but the more I talked to Chandler and the more I saw her become successful, it just kept, you know, lighting that fire a little bit. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to see what this is about. And so what really started it was there was a week in, at school where they decided to do like a small business, like little event um, in our break room and ask people to set up little tables of what they did on the side. And so just something, I mean, I barely even started products back again, didn't really know anything about it, but something just inside me was like, I need to just put a plexus table out there, see what this is about. We'll see if we get any interest. So I reached out to Chandler. Um, I didn't even have any extra products to give out as samples at this point, but she was awesome, sent me samples, got me information to put out. And it was really great. And I got lots of interest. I ended up signing my principal from that. And then, and it was like the last week of November, I think. Um, and after I signed my principal, um, Chandler kind of gave me the silver, silver challenge. She was like, hey, listen, you've got one person underneath you. You just need those. You just need two more people and you're going to be silver and you're going to get this bonus. And um, I was like, well, you know, let's do this. So I just did it. I reached out to my mom and my cousin, signed them both and went silver in November, which is like the first month that I had started taking products again. Um, I kind of fell off and wasn't super business driven at, after that because I was almost due with the twins. I, my mind was crazy busy with planning maternity leave and all of that. I know there's a lot of teachers in here that get that, how stressful that is. Um, but after having the twins, I really, I was home full time, kind of started putting some more effort into it. And I really just started incorporating the products into my daily life stories on Instagram. Um, I was really active on Instagram. And so I just started putting them out there. Um, I made my first post and it just kind of started building some traction. People started noticing and um, seeing what I was doing. And I wasn't super inflamed and bloated and all of the things and was able to lose my pregnancy weight super quick. And people just noticed. And I wasn't, I didn't ever reach out to people. I just kind of put it out there, let people reach out to me. Um, and I didn't pretend to be an expert, I think was the biggest thing. I really relied on Chandler, um, did a lot of three-way messages. Um, and she was super helpful and just amazing with that because at that point I didn't know much. And she had been doing this for a lot longer than I had. And so um, the three-way messages were crucial at that point, because I could also see how she talked to people and how she um, reacted to certain questions and different scenarios that would happen. Um, something else I really did was um, I utilized the Facebook groups, like Gut Health and Happiness, um, um, Health Happiness and Financial Freedom, and the message threads. Um, I started prioritizing the team calls um, at that point, I really didn't, I think I remember telling Chandler at some point, I was like, I just don't, I don't know any of the girls. I feel like I don't know anybody. I feel weird, you know, but the more I jumped on, it just kind of felt like family. Like I haven't met hardly any of you, but, um, I just feel like I know you from Facebook and doing these calls and stuff, which is super great because I know that you are all there to help if we needed anything. Um, I really wanted to, we see a lot of the times in sales, like in network marketing and stuff, which drives me crazy, people just being salesy and um, I don't really know the right word I'm looking for, but I just really prioritize being real and transparent with people. Like, hey, this is why I'm reaching out to you. Like I saw you post 
that you are struggling with XYZ and I have something that'll help you. And if it's not for you, then that's okay. Or if you're doing something else, that's okay. But um, just put it out there and was really real and understanding to people's different scenarios. Like if they couldn't afford it or whatever it was, you know, just was there for them and then would follow up later. So I would always write their names down. I tried the first couple of notes were really hard for me and I felt like a failure. Um, but once I got over that, it became easier. And I just re remembered like people aren't going to be into it at first, but follow up with them and eventually they might say yes. And so um, just being real, following up, utilizing those three-way calls, uh, utilizing all of your Facebook resources, the groups, the threads, and everything. Um, and yeah, I think that was pretty much it because I just, uh, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. I'm so glad you touched on so many of those things because uh, some of them I totally forgot to touch on. And so I'm so glad you mentioned this. Okay, what would you say to the person, Amy, that says, I don't know if I have time. They're just, they're brand new. They're maybe they're going silver, senior silver. I, I don't know if I have time. What would you say to that person? That I don't really have time either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and just to explain to them, like, we're all busy. We all have different things going on in our lives, but it, you know, takes very little time out of the day at the beginning to send a text message or type out a Facebook message or just send a voice message. I've been I really never used voice memos until this and until Chandler always used voice memos with me. And I was like, well, that's simple. Like it takes two seconds out of your day to just send a quick voice message to somebody and you can get your message across, across very quickly. And it's kind of more real in that way because you can hear, they can hear your voice. And another thing that I did say that I really like to do is getting on the phone with people to sign them up that is something that I've really learned to love and I kind of get sad and disappointed when somebody doesn't want to get on the phone with me because it has been a really good um just relationship builder totally no I I love you I'm so thankful <laughs> that you just said all of those things those were all wonderful so thank you Amy yeah. um yeah Addison, I had a couple of questions for you. Y'all, Addison and I met in Chattanooga. She was in like youth group. I'm old compared to Addison and she does things a little bit different than I do. Um, and so anyway, Addison, will you just kind of tell them really quick, she is a brand new gold ambassador. Tell them maybe what are some of the things that I did with you when you were like, when you came to me and said, hey, I, I want a business. Because unlike Amy, Addison came to me and said, I want products, but I want a business too. And so it's a little bit different, right? So can you just tell them like maybe a couple of the things that you remember? Okay. We did this, this, and this. Yeah. And my, everyone's really fuzzy. So can you hear me? Okay. Kind of. Yeah. But you can, can hear, hear me. Too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Cause you're really fuzzy. Okay. So one thing, I mean, the three-way messages is huge because at the beginning, I wanted to know all the things. I wanted to know about all the products, how to help everyone with all their struggles, but I didn't know. And so Jordan was huge in helping me with three-way messages. And then also, I recently have a friend that started sharing under me. And so I'm still using Jordan in four-way messages. Um, so that's huge and extremely helpful. And then, um, another thing that she did was goal set, um, which I'm not one to love goals just because I hate to fail, but, um, Jordan has been on me and some of my other friends on here just to set those big goals, even if they're scary, because that's how you're going to reach those goals. Um, so that's what I've been starting to do with my friends. Um, just to get her thinking about the next step, thinking about what she is trying to go for. Um, and then Jordan, which she's such, I mean, such a people person, but she's been so great about not only asking about how I'm doing with my people, how I'm doing with selling, about my goals, all that, but she's been really good about asking how I am. So 
I was in the process of a move, of a job change, buying a house, and she was just constantly asking me how I was in my life, not just about Plexus. So I feel like that has really helped just our relationship, and that's something really great that a sponsor can do to help someone under them. Yes. Well, um, thank you for that. That was really sweet. I didn't even realize I was doing that, but um, that is actually a great tip because we can oftentimes just make this super transactional. Like I just want to sign you up and we're, we're dealing with people. Um, Okay. One last thing I wanted you to bring up because doing this way, um, I remember at one point you were like, Jordan, I don't know if this is working. You were going to senior silver and you were like this. I don't know if this is working. Like I haven't signed anybody up this week. And I was like, just trust it. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us what that was like for you? And then like what happened after that when you were consistent? Yes. So um, at one point I was getting really stressed because I was reaching out to people, people reaching out to me and I was talking about the products and I was getting like, not right now, no, maybe later. And I'm such a person like I just get butt hurt and I'm like okay well they don't want it I'm not gonna ask them again okay like there's no way I'm gonna get to nine people because I asked these six people and they all said not right now but Jordan has said multiple times just because they say no right now does not mean it's no for later on um but still me I'm very stubborn and so I didn't didn't believe her but turns out that was true because um, I ended up getting like the six people that I needed to go senior silver. And then those people that told me not right now ended up reaching out to me later and they helped me go gold. So I feel like just getting myself not to just close those doors and have more of an open mind about, okay, these like they, you're, you can still help them. Just, I don't know, give it some more, more time. Um, so I feel like that was really helpful um yeah yes that's so perfect so I think we'll end it there really is the last things I will tell you all is be consistent just like she just said and be coachable you heard her just say like two or three times I had to trust her I just had to trust her and you guys you just got to trust the process okay so sometimes it takes more than five seconds to do the thing but at the end of the day I promise what we teach it works and so I just want to encourage you guys if you have never been on a team call thank y'all for being here I hope this was just helpful and you're just like okay this is a lot easier and simpler than I'm making it. And I'm just creating all these scary stories in my head of what's going to happen. And none of them are true. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thank y'all for being on.